Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'll share with you the ownership experience of my Tata Harrier. This is Tata Harrier XZA Plus 2021 edition. I've driven this for over 25,000 kilometers now. It is exactly one year since I bought the car. And uh, I've done uh, several road trips with this car uh, in, in, in South India. So I wanted to share my ownership experience, especially the things that I like with this car. So let's get started with it. Before I share what I like about this car, quick overview about the specifications. This is the top of the line XZ A plus variant Orcus white color. And uh, the, it comes with two liter diesel engine and uh, it is an automatic uh, torque converter gearbox. First thing I like about Harrier is the suspension setup and uh, high speed stability on highways. I typically cruise between 80 to 110 on highways. The entire ride is very smooth. You will not even recognize that you are doing those speeds. And uh, I have done several long distance rides. One of the longest rides I did, did was around 800 kilometers. And you won't feel tired and you won't feel the speed at which you are driving into the cabin as well. So it's very smooth and uh, you can do a lot of those long rides without uh, without actually getting tired the next thing i like about harrier is the automatic transmission tata harrier comes with comes with torque converter gearbox it's the same gearbox that's present in hyundai tucson as well so if you are confused between whether you should buy manual or automatic in harrier i would certainly suggest you to test drive both of them and you will definitely love this uh, automatic gearbox there are no lags at all both in city or highway and uh, whenever you need to take a quick overtake or whenever you are in guards and you need that speed just push the throttle and you will get the speed and there are zero jerks and uh, because it's torque converter it's much more reliable gearbox as well and it's also uh, fun to drive also so i certainly the automatic transmission is very well built uh, by tata one of the important things to have a very relaxed and fun long drives is the uh, music system. So Tata Harrier comes with a 9 speaker JBL system from Infinity, and it's actually very very good. So I love a little bit of bass and I find that this uh, music system has adequate bass as well as the vocals as well are very clear. Uh, so I don't see a need for anyone to upgrade to a better or uh, quality music system the music system that comes stock the jbl system is really really good and uh, maybe when you test drive the car you can see it for yourself but certainly uh, the audio quality is very clear we get decent amount of bass so you don't if you're taking the top variant you don't have to change your audio system at all so it does a very good job the next thing i, li I like about harrier is its build quality so there are a couple of ways how you can see it for yourself. One is the doors only. So when you try open those doors and try to push them, so you can hear the thud sound, right? So that kind of gives you the confidence of how strong the material is. As well as uh, for us, it, when we got our car new, so it took us a month to kind of figure out, uh, the um, like we needed to put a lot of effort to close the doors in one go. So not just the doors, but then the boot as well. So it took us a while to figure it out but the the kind of material that's used uh, so you can feel that okay this is a very strongly uh, built car and that certainly gives us a lot of confidence when we are going in on those uh, long drives on highways tata harrier comes with a fiat sourced two liter uh, diesel engine and uh, this is the same engine that's there on MG Hector diesel variants and also Jeep Compass uh, diesel variants as well. And um, um, so, I mean, so it produces 170 PS of power and 350 Newton meters of torque. And this power is more than adequate for the, your multiple scenarios, whether you are driving on guards or whether you need to do a quick overtake on uh, uh, undivided uh, Indian highways. So, more. I believe that I underutilize the power of this engine uh, for most of my driving. But whenever you need the power, you feel that there is always something else left in the tank for you to uh, get out of this engine. So this car comes with 
three driving modes one is economy next is city and next is port so city drive is what you typically use on your daily city driving and economy is what you will use to uh, get more mileage on the highway and sport mode is when you need the traditional torque and more power so i hardly use sport mode at all so even for my use cases of overtaking or guards also i am able to get it done in city mode only. i use the economy mode for driving uh, on highways for getting better mileage so those are the drive modes but apart from that it also uh, so this is how you get it so switch on this so it, so it it alerts the it activates economy mode and i can or i can the default is a city one or i can select sport, sport and mode it activates the sport mode and it also calls it out so these are the three drive modes which are useful for you to uh, kind of manage the num amount of power the in engine gives you and accordingly you can manage the mileage as well uh, apart from that you also get um, multiple terrain modes so the default mode is a city mode but apart from that you also get a couple of other modes one is rough road mode uh, which act it's a rough road mode or you also get uh, what we call as what they call as wet mode so i've uh, tried out both of them so certainly i felt uh, some bit of difference some bit of uh, change when i activated rough road mode so the, the suspension became smart, became much more software so that when i'm on those broken roads uh, i'm not feeling a lot of that into the cabin uh, and with the wet mode also i felt that um, the brake bite is much better when we're driving on those wet modes. So I use these features regularly whenever it's raining and, and uh, I'm driving on highway. I turn on the wet modes and uh, um, whenever I'm on very uh, rough patchy roads, so I turn on the rough road mode. So I like both of these uh, terrain modes as well as drive modes. It gives us additional options to manage how much power is generated or other mechanics of the engine. The next thing I like about Harrier is the second row space. So and, uh, I feel that uh, uh, so in Safari, if, if it's a seven seater, you are probably crammed a little bit in the second row. And uh, in MG Hector, uh, the space is too much, I believe. But here the space is more than adequate. And you can have three adults comfortably sitting for a very long duration and uh, uh, on those highway rides. So certainly, uh, probably the likes of Creta and all it's probably just a uh, it's good for only for two people but certainly you can have three people sitting here in the back and do those uh, long drives three adults the next thing i like about tata harrier is the all these functionalities are easily accessible with hard buttons instead of uh, touch uh, touch screen and uh, infotainment options i can easily change the volume from here or i can uh, activate various modes from here or I can turn on fog lamps from here or I can control the AC temperature. I can uh, change the blower speed. So it's all with most of the functionalities that you would need. So you can manage the volume here. You can turn, you can take calls, disconnect calls or you can uh, set cruise. You can increase cruise speed. You can reduce cruise speed. You can cancel cruise. So all of the functionalities are easily accessible through buttons instead of touch so um, I once you get a hang of things after a while you don't even have to take your eye off the road so I believe this also this uh, more than convenience this is uh, I would say a safety feature wherein uh, when you're especially when you're driving alone so having buttons will actually help you uh, in a better way the, uh, another critical aspect of why people choose Harrier over, let's say, your MG Hector or uh, yeah, your XUV 700 is the mileage. The, so I am using an automated gearbox version. So typically, in so this is my only car. So I use it for both my city driving as well as highway driving as well as so on highways. You have proper three-lane highways or you have guard roads as well. So I typically get somewhere in the range of... Uh, uh, 10 liter can 10 kilometers per liter in Bangalore city driving and on highways I get 15 to 16 and uh, on guards I typically get like 12 to 13 and if I am able to 
properly cruise somewhere from 90 to 100 or 90 to 110 with economy mode on i can easily get 17 to 18 uh, so i've seen some folks in uh, who on harrier easily manage uh, 18 to probably like 18 to 20 kmpl obviously mileage depends a lot on your driving style but certainly uh, all these uh, econ all these driving modes as well as the way it's uh, the engine itself is tuned uh, i think you would get better mileage uh, um, in harrier in comparison to xuv 700 mg hector does not have a automatic in uh, uh, diesel variant so you are anyway uh, not able to get these numbers on uh, uh, mg hector next thing i like about this uh, car is the leather seats the seats are very cushiony they're comfortable and you also get lumbar support as well so it uh, you don't feel tired uh, especially when you're doing those long uh, long drives so you don't feel tired at all so that's uh, definitely the plus for both forward as well as your uh, backward seats the next thing i like about harrier is its styling and road presence uh, the my, my favorite part is when these drls are turned on it looks really muscular and uh, very uh, very stylish so i bought it in white color because i like uh, uh, a lot of people prefer the dark edition which is even more stunning again but color choice is all subjective but certainly uh, the styling of front grille as well as the back uh, and everything kind of gives a very uh, macho ish presence for this vehicle and um, so you always want to take it out uh, on so i feel that this is much more comfortable on the highways in the guards in the wildlife in the adventure so certainly uh, this car feels like part of the nature and you always want to take it to some adventure so Tata Harrier, it has adequate boat space. So it's obviously lesser in comparison to MG Hector, but I believe it has a lot more space. You can easily fit in um, probably five, six uh, cabin baggages. And apart from that, there is some uh, intelligent way of, there's some hidden storage space as well under the mat. So here you can put in a lot of other stuff also. So there's more than adequate boat space. And if you're just two people traveling, you can even fold the, uh, uh, rare seats and uh, I have seen people convert this into overnight camper bed as well. So this is another positive at least especially for me that it has more than adequate boot space certainly more than the likes of Kretas and others but it's lesser in comparison to um, MG sector but more in comparison to XCV 700 and you, I mean if I remove this parcel tray so there's even more space here for me to uh, add yeah I can easily like I said I can easily put uh five six overnight uh, large bags as well so yeah this is another positive for uh, tata harrier that's it for me today i hope you like the uh, video and uh, if you have any questions about the car you can uh, add in comments and uh, if i'll make a follow-up video on the things i don't like about this car so thank you for watching